My name is Trench, and I'm going to show you where you can find Turtwig in Pokemon's Legends Arceus. I'm going to go ahead and open up the map here and show you where we're going to be heading. So we're in the Crimson Mire Lands right now, and we're actually going to be going down to this very small body of water at the bottom of the map at this corner. That's where we're going to find Turtwig. So we're going to hop on our mount here and just make our way across. Now, as you can see, there's a river between us and there, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, I think the game wants you to have Basque Legion to actually reach this area, but after playing around with it a bit, I found a way to get there without one. If we go to this side over here of this little cliff, you can look across the water there and see the ground actually connects down into the water, which means the trainer can swim a very small distance to get back onto the ground. So we're going to try to make that jump. We can't clear the whole thing, but we'll be able to make it just enough to get back onto land. So what you want to do is kind of line up right about here and go to the right side of this tree and jump at the very last second. Try to get as close as you possibly can and your trainer will snap onto the ground there. So you can hop back on your Pokemon right after that and just keep going. We're going to go straight for the flag. There are a lot of Pokemon here that want to battle us, but as long as you do this during the day, it's not too bad. It's a little bit worse at night because there's a lot of Ghastly and Haunter that spawn in here, but... It's not terrible. You can make your way around. You just have to be careful. Now, I do want to say, once you get close, do not just charge straight in here. That's a good way to get Turtwig to run away from you. You want to try to creep up to this side of the mountain right here. It's a bit of a painful jump, but you can get up here with a little bit of work. It's kind of a pain, but it is possible to get up here. Now, once you get up here, I highly recommend you go ahead and save the game just in case Turtwig runs away so you don't have to come and do all this again and try to wait for him to respawn. You want to creep definitely so that he doesn't see us. We're just going to go ahead and leap so we crouch immediately when we hit the ground. And there's going to be another Pokemon down here with him. If you come at night, it'll be a Haunter or a Ghastly, so just take note that you may want to do this in the daytime. I'm going to see if we can't get this Parasect away from Turtwig and get Turtwig closer to us to make it a little easier to catch. I'm going to throw a berry far over there to try to get Parasect to go, but Turtwig can start to make his way over there too. So go ahead and throw another one to see if we can get Turtwig to turn around. It may take a little finagling to get this to work, but we, we can get him. It's not too hard. We just don't want to startle Turtwig. All right, we made it to the other side of the grass. We don't want this Parasect to see us for sure. I'm going to throw another berry over here, see if I can't get him to go away. And then throw one over here to get Turtwig to try to come back. No, he's going to go for the other one. Okay, well, Turtwig looks a little bit distracted, so let's see. Uh oh we're locking onto the wrong one. Let's see if we can't get him with the Pokeball. He doesn't know that we're here. We'll try to get him from behind. Let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. And we have our church wig. Not too bad. If you guys have any questions, just drop in the comments down below and I'll be glad to help you out. If you're new to the channel, drop a subscription. It's totally free and it helps me out a ton and I have a lot more Pokemon content coming out very soon. Until next time, my name is Trenge and I'll see you on the next adventure.